hi friends welcome back uh, we will see a dix rotation counter circuit today and it, you will really enjoy it uh, here I have used the same 4026 IC as before here you can see I, uh, for displaying two digit value I have used two 4026 ICs and um, the connection is similar to the last circuit we saw but here you can see uh, LDR transistors and resistors um, last time uh, you saw uh, a clock provided to this uh, pin number one right here you can see last time we provided a clock to this pin number one of this U1 IC and this time we are designing a disk rotation counter which will count the rotation of a disk and that means um, uh, we have uh, connected this circuit this extra circuit LDR resistors and transistors to uh, this clock input um, here I will show you how the circuit works here we have uh, we have a dix in between this torch and the L LDR we have a dix in between this torch and the LDR and we make a hole on the disk this is a hole on the disk and uh, the disk is rotating now uh, the disk is rotating such that in one complete rotation uh, this hole will be um, in the same position that means uh, when the disk makes one complete rotation the count will, will be one and when uh, it makes two rotations here you will see the counting two and when it makes three rotations the counting will be 3 and so on and now uh, what happens is when uh, this when the light falls on this LDR the counting will increase by 1 that means when this source of light is falling on this LDR through this hole then the counting will be 1 now since the disk is rotating um, the passage of light will be blocked for some time until this hole will be in the same position that means uh, when it makes two rotations here the counting will be two and when it makes three rotations the counting will be three and this is uh, the similar circuit or this is the same circuit uh, let's see how it works So uh, here you cannot see any disk but assume that uh, there is a disk and when this light falls on this LDR you can see the counting will increase and let's see now it becomes 1 right now the uh, disk is rotating that means uh, in the second rotation the light again falls on this LDR through this hole right that means now it's the second rotation of the disk and the light falls on this LDR and here the counting is 2 now again the light is blocked right and again uh, the light is falling on the LDR through the hole in the third rotation now this becomes 3 right and as the disk keeps on rotating the counting will go on see you can see the counting as the light falls on the LDR and then the light is blocked the counting process will keep on going on so Hence, we can measure the number of rotation 
of a disk through this circuit hope you liked it um, I will see you in next video lecture thanks for watching and bye